Hi, it's Helen Hebert. I'm going to show you how to make this shadow shoji panel. So this was inspired by the Japanese shoji screens and if you display it in this way you start to see the shadows of the cutout design. This is a project for my book Paper Illuminated which features 15 projects for making handcrafted luminaria lanterns, screens, lampshades, and window treatments. Here's the initial shadow lantern from the book, and then there's so many possibilities with this project. Here's another one. And the cutouts can be any shape that you want and you can use different colored papers. I mean the possibilities are really endless. In this particular piece I call the shadow lantern when exhibited in this way or a shadow screen and it's got this hinge that allows those panels to flex in both directions which I teach in my online class, Paper Illuminated. And this hinge is also featured in the book, Paper Illuminated. Here are the tools and materials. You need a quarter inch by quarter inch balsa wood. This is two feet in length. It usually comes three feet. You need two feet for, per shoji panel. This is actually shoji screen paper. I'll put uh, links uh, below the video so you can find the sources. This is a uh, Japanese linen paper. It comes in many, many different colors. This is from Washi Arts. I have an X-Acto knife, metal ruler, and a plastic ruler with the see-through grid. Glue. Um, you'll need a little glue brush as well. Sandpaper. Um, some kind of saw, a hand saw, and this is a cool little miter box and a pencil and a cutting mat. Let's get started. I have already cut my linen paper to four inches by eight inches and now I need to cut a 45 degree angle and that's what this is on here. You could use a triangle as well. So I'm going to line up my this edge here with this line and that corner with the top of that angle and I'm going to cut this off. So I have that diagonal shape. Now I like to use my metal ruler when cutting with a blade, but I like to use the plastic ruler when measuring. So this has a nice grid on it, and I need to draw all of my mullions at a quarter inch. So first I'm going to just trace around the edges. And then, so my video doesn't end up being too, too long, I'm just going to bring this one in and show you what I've already done. So I've divided the four inches in half to two inches, and then I went an eighth inch on either side to get these two lines. And then these are from this, this is eight inches, two, four, six, and then eight. So those center points going an eighth on either side, that gives you um, a quarter inch in between each of those sections. Now I'm switching back to the metal ruler for cutting and I like to cut where I can see the lines so I wouldn't cut here because I can't see where to start and stop. So I go to this edge I can see exactly where I need to start and stop and then I'll actually move my mat around as I cut. So I will remove all of these little sections. So there's my cut shoji panel and um, if you have a, a pencil lines you might want to erase those. You can also do the next step on top of the pencil lines and they'll be hidden in between the two layers of paper. So now I want to show you how I cut the balsa wood. So again this is quarter inch balsa wood 
and first I'm just going to cut the end at the 45 degree angle that I need. So I'm setting that in there so that when I cut it, it'll just cut off a small piece. So now that I've got that, I will line that up right where it's going to go. So it's going to line up exactly on top of that quarter inch strip of paper. And I'll butt it up to the top edge. And then I'll take the pencil and mark where I'm going to cut that. Now that's going to be a 90 degree angle. So I'll, I'll line that up, up in there and carefully cut that. Doesn't take much effort. And I've got my piece. And then I can grab my sandpaper if there are any frayed edges. Don't sand too much though because this is soft and it'll whittle away. So there I've got that piece. And then I've already cut my other pieces to show you. So this piece butts up to this one. There's no wood joinery. And to the end here and then this piece has an angle cut, so that'll butt up to this one and go right to there. And then this piece has two mitered edges that sandwich in between here. So that will make a perfect framework for that sheet of paper below. Now I'm going to glue that framework down using the outer edge of this sheet of paper as my guide, and I've got a piece of scrap paper below so that. Uh, no glue oozes out onto my work surface. And uh, make sure that you orient this in the proper direction. So this is how it will glue on. So I have to put glue on this side. And I will apply a bead of glue with my applicator. You're just going to want a thin layer. And then I'll use my brush to smooth that out. If you get tend to get glue on your fingers. It's handy to have a wet paper towel at your work surface. So I want to make sure that glue is going all the way to the edges. So I have a nice strong bond. And then I'll attach that to the paper. And then I'll work my way around to make the whole thing. So I've got everything glued in place. This is how it looks like on the other side. And now I've cut a piece of that shoji paper to just larger than this paper. It's very important. You do not want to try to cut this to size before you attach these. It's much easier to trim it. And it will actually be gluing on this side. So what I'll do with this is apply a bead of glue that goes all the way around. Then I will smooth that out. This is PVA glue, by the way. It's archival. Dries clear. Dries pretty quickly, so you can't leave this and go do something else. And now this shoji paper has a smooth side on one side and a little bit rougher on the other. I'm going to glue to the smoother side. So I will flip this over. Um, I could line the bottom edge up so I don't have to cut that one edge, but it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to really press and make sure that I'm getting a firm attachment. I'll even turn it over and run my fingers along there. And then very carefully I will cut this out with my knife. Now it's pretty easy to accidentally cut the wood. So you just want to uh, maybe practice or get the hang of it and go slow. And there it is, cut out. So I've got my cool little shoji panel. And the light, if light comes through it, you see those mullions. And, um, of course, you see it more obviously in this direction, and the light would just be filtered as well.
Yay! If you enjoyed this video, please make the project and send me a picture. I'd love to see it. Follow me on YouTube and you'll get a video tutorial every month. And don't forget to share this with your paper-loving friends. Thanks for watching!